Hello, and welcome to a artistic chat about this most wonderful day, our Good Friday in 2020. My name is Rob Lawler, and I'm the artist who painted these two paintings that I'd love to share with you. This one painting here is the beginning of the suffering, the six hours of suffering that Christ had. I painted it with a bright red hot background because I wanted to show the discomfort of the times, the agony that he was going through. They don't make a color for the word pain, but an artist will create an atmosphere. And here I tried to get the bright sun beating down, showing showing me the hardship, the agony, what was going on. If you'll look closely, you'll see down at the bottom a centurion, an officer, whose job it was to oversee this crucifixion, along with two other criminals, of course, and Roman soldiers, whose job it was to do the horrible deed that they did to our Lord, hoisting the cross up each inch, causing more and more pain as they hoisted that cross with, with ropes. Also down at the bottom, you'll see the Pharisees down there still yelling, yelling for his crucifixion. This, this so-called Messiah. Yes, their anger, their ignorance. Turning from that painting, I'd like to come over to a much more detailed painting, the complete opposite of the first. It shows the darkness, the wind blowing. Matthew even talks about thunder and lightning. This was at the end of Christ's suffering. The six, six hours were coming to a close. In this painting, I tried to show the three crosses. The one cross you can hardly see to the very, very right here. All you see is the feet of the so-called bad criminal as the blood runs down his cross. The bad criminal, the one who said to Jesus, if you're the son of man, why don't you come and take yourself down and take us with you? But the most beautiful story came from the other criminal. He doesn't have a name in the Bible, but legend gave him the name of Dismas, Dismas. And Dismas yelled over at the other criminal, be quiet. We're getting what we deserve, but this man was innocent. And then he said those most wonderful words to Jesus from the cross. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus is quoted as saying, truly, truly you will be with me in paradise. What wonderful, wonderful miracles came from that cross. More miracles happened also as Jesus was lying, dying there. Down at the bottom of the cross were his, was his one disciple. His one disciple, John. John, whom we loved. John, who was there to see his Lord be crucified. Jesus said to John, take care of my mother. And down at the foot there is Mary, Jesus' mother. And she's passed out. She's fallen. And Mary Magdalene, her close friend and follower of Jesus, is trying to hold her up. And behind her is a gentleman well-dressed. And that is Joseph of Arimathea, who was there at the crucifixion. You can see him by his fine robes. Dressed unlike anyone else in plain robes. He is dressed, a man of wealth. And it was Joseph of Arimathea who would go to Pilate and ask for Jesus' body and get permission to take it. And he and his friend Nicodemus carried the body of Jesus to the tomb that was never used before that, belonging to Joseph. What a wonderful, wonderful love that he showed. And then, the Bible talks about the centurion, the centurion who saw all of this. And the centurion I have on a horse, the horse is looking at the cross. 
And the centurion observed, heard, and uttered the words, truly, this was the son of man. And in my painting, I had drawn the winds blowing his cape, the horse's mane being blown back. And in respect to the son of man, the centurion, a Roman guard, took off his helmet. There's also a little artistic sideline here. I painted, I painted the Roman officer in the background and he he to this artist was evil for he's the one that took his spear his spear and stabbed a dead body our lord in the side a cut that later on jesus would show to his disciples after he had risen a most beautiful beautiful wound to show the true god in this of the Christian Christ. But the artist has a little liberty. And so in painting my evil, evil guard, look close and you'll see the eyes of the devil. <laughs> yes, the artist was not there to paint it. It happened 2,000 years ago. So we interpret. We try to interpret. Painters try to interpret humbly such, such magnificent sin religious stories the end is of course yes yes i show i think i showed that up in the right hand corner there you can see the feet of the third of the third of the third person on the cross that would be the second criminal on the blood running down yes um The background, the background and the uh, wind I tried to paint. So yes, that's, that is that, I'm sorry, I was just talking to my camera person here. Uh, th this painting was done over many years. There's an old expression that when is a painting done, not till the artist is dead. Well, I'm still hanging around and I will probably still dab on it as time as I see faults, but the painting was made humbly. Humbly because how can one depict anything from the Bible and do it accurately and do it justice? And so I, this is an attempt, a humble attempt. I pray someday that I haven't offended our Lord. I want to thank you for letting me share my paintings with you. It was a joy to do that, and uh, I wish all of you good health during this horrendous time with this virus that we're suffering through. And I wish all of you a blessed, blessed and most healthy Easter season.